Det er hvor du er i afhjælpen, så derfor lukker det på nærmest, så der er det ikke noget. Vi kan ændre det virkelig i Antissa, at vi ser en virkelig og lever til lever til vi var, og er vi til at ændre det. Så hvis du vil have noget, så vil jeg lige til at sige dig, men også fordi jeg vil have noget idé. Så for at du kan nærmest det, så vil jeg have noget til at sige dig, så vil jeg have noget til at sige dig, on when uh, uh, trading desk in the side trading wheel or those platforms like so right so but the general idea is we have to, to customize them to according to your levels like so or oh, for this one i'm going to be using one for the level is 70 and 79 for my what of my trade entry like so how do you set it up like that you just firstly go on object right click the fibonacci I draw your Fibonacci randomly and then long press it, edit, right? And then when you press the edit bar, I want you to go to this level which says what? Add levels right over here, add levels. Then you click that, right? And you are going to insert these levels exactly as they are. So just take a screenshot of this and uh, apply them what? On the sweater, let me just show you exactly how you do it. How you do that? How you use these levels exactly? Right. So take a screenshot, right? So after that, let me delete this. Right. So how do you use the Fibonacci? So the Fibonacci is quite a common tool, right? Especially if you are not uh, familiar yet with what with uh, with drawing order blocks, right? So you can use the Fibonacci for what? a beginner, right? So then when you're using the Fibonacci, right, you are waiting for, you're going to uh, want what to enter the what discount price, right, when the price is what, way we for the smaller stop loss and the larger take profit, right, so those levels that are on the Fibonacci that I added are going to help you in editing what this, right, so first thing that we have to look for when you're using the Fibonacci is the pricing market structure, right, so for this example right over here, I've got a trading market structure, trading market structure over there. Right, so after that trading market structure, you are looking for to sell why it was the market broke structure to the, to the downside, right? So you just press the object bar, right? Press the Fibonacci, right? So how do you draw the Fibonacci, right? So you just drag it. If you want to enter for yourself, you drag it downwards, right? So you just press and then drag it up downwards, right? So you just connect it from the highest point that the market had reached and the lowest point that what the market had reached. Right. So as you can see, right, so this is just where you place your own stop loss. So I would encourage you to place it exactly over here, just slightly above. So that so that your trade breaks your chance to play out, right? So when the market pulls back to the level 70, 79, or even 62 sometimes, right? I even end at the level 62. Right, you check what the entry, right? As you can see, you have got a scaling Q2, so if you've got multiple entries, you can uh, have done what when you do it scaling Q2, right? When the way when you used to what to see the support level, you can have done on what on the position, you've got your first take profit, your second take profit, and they've got what it easily, and they've got what your symmetrical Q2, right? So, symmetrical is just simply means the highest point that you, you, you are going to be willing to. Go right. So you've got what? Another breaking market structure over here. Right, as you can see, breaking market structure. Two breaks, right? So uh, let me just drag this, right? And over here, right? So as you can see over here, we didn't reach to what? Level 70 and level 79, right? That's why I got what? Level 62, right? But those are uh, favorable, most favorable ones, the favorite one, level 70 and 79. Why? Because what? The stop loss was going to be significantly well, significantly smaller, right? But as you can see, the market was rejecting over here, and it couldn't what reach the levels, these levels, right? So if you are, uh, what? If you want, only want to wait for the 70 and the 79, you can do that, <coughs> or whenever the trade reaches what level 62, you can also even enter some other. Some people even enter on what on the level 50 right so let me just check for for a buy setup so that i can show you how how this works for what for a buy setup right so right over here right over here what breaking my 
Chinese church and the Vietnamese church in Normandy, like for what for an action, like so after that we mark it we mark what? We mark the highest point and the lowest point, like so this we are going to we are doing what for an action, like so we mark the lowest point going up, so we start from below, we start check it up, like the highest point that was hit from what? From the lowest point, right? And as you can see. Personally, I don't want to lie to you, right? Uh, when it reached level 62 over here, and it gave me this nice dirty candle, I would have entered over there, right? I was there in there, right? But, um, so that's my what? First entry over there. That would be my first entry, right? And then it goes back again over here and gives this strong rejection candle. I will enter again, right? My stop loss goes over here where it's marked stop loss, right? Then uh, my first take for my smash my first take profit for the first entry that I got in here. Right, so if I got multiple entries, I first zero down on what on this take profit. Then I continue and still what remove samples here and there what as I go. But when I reach smash call price, I just shift what my stop loss above what above the entry position so that I so that I can get what. I can yes what a zero loss strategy like so as you can see eventually what reach the symmetrical price like so that's just how we use it. You can also even use it on the on the booming graph like so let me just take it as a, an example. Let me remove this. Okay, let me just this one over here. Let me remove this. Like you can also even use it on the on the booming graph, like for example over here, right? Let me use the pencil, right? Oh, I've got the pretty market strategy, the pretty market strategy to the downside, right? We enter over here, right? Fibonacci, we drag it over here, right? And we enter when it reaches the level 70, 79. Right? And you can see we smart code what? Not to take profit, right? We've got another one. Breaking market structure over there, right? Breaking market structure two bear, right? So after that, we are also going to place on our Fibonacci, right? So you can just place your Fibonacci, right? After it's marked what your take profit and your stop loss and your everything, right? You can delete it, right? It's just for showing you when to enter and when to exit, right? So this one reached the level 70, reverse quickly, right? And it all the take profits up and what the TP level, right? So that's just how you how you simply use this, right? So we've got another breaking market structure over here. We mark this like do this white flag, right? We didn't even reach what the scaling TP. We just reverse, we reach hit the 70, we reverse, but we didn't what reach the first what take profit, but if you do what of your stop loss into what into profit you would have won right so that's it if you like subscribe if you like comment like subscribe and share the comment you also turn your notification bell right? so that's it